Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, today we're going to be jumping in Alliance Balog stream with Sif. And I'm going to showcase how I played the Silent Season with her with a damage proc on her. We have a... Uh, mighty ctp of energy on earth guys so we're going to showcase that in today's battle video by the way guys if you enjoy the content make sure you subscribe and drop a like on the video it always helps out the channel so first guys we're going to take a look at the build and the rotation then we're going to be jumping into the gameplay section so the teams we're using with her is uh, she all lead with the latest uniform which gives 65 percent increased basic damage dealt to male type allies and we're using uh Valkyrie supports which give us 50% uh, damage increase against super villain characters and 30% in more dodge rate which is obviously uh, very very useful and if we talk support 2 um, Sif is our own support 2 guys is it from the uniform or is it from the skills from the uniform guys apply to all eyes increase all speed by 10% increase basic dealt uh basic damage dealt to boss type by 45% the frost beast is a boss so a lot of support a lot of lead through those trees and sif actually kicks ass guys so as you can see in the title of the video we did 8.1 million only 13% pierce and I mean, we got some blessings, but mostly one, two, three, four, five, and six blessings only, guys. Uh, so we can do much better with more blessings, obviously. We could actually get more blessings, but I mean, she's probably going to get replaced by She-Hulk in a few months. So I'm not... I'm not holding my breath on her, but still, I do love playing her. So we have her at rank uh, 1,464 the stats we have on her. Max cooldown, max ignore defense, max critical damage, critical rate, attack speed. We have 46,273 physical attack. Those are the stats we have on her. The gear we saw it, we have uh, five, six blessings on her. Nothing crazy. Uh, if we take a look at the easel sets, we have a fully awakened overdrive easel set. So we get 8.5% all attack, all defense, critical rate critical damage in 8.1 percent or defense with a 40 percent proc on the easel set if we look at the artifact guys we have a basic artifact on her not our own artifact although i don't remember what our own artifact does so no bonus here if we look at the ctp we have a pretty ctp of energy to be honest a pretty solid ctp of energy mighty ctp of energy uh, the reforge stat is increase all basic attack and defense by 16 percent then we have 27.3 percent or dodge 44.8 percent critical damage 30 percent chained damage and 200 percent proc which is definitely optimal if we look at the uniform uniform is mythical but we only have two bonus option guys which is this one the vision for cooldown and the ghost rider for physical attack we are missing the second one for namer which we might get on one day just for that but not really probably not so those are the stats we have guys so with those stats and only 13 percent pierce yeah only I, I know a lot of people don't have 13 percent pierce but a lot of abx video are made with 25 percent pierce so for us compared to other abx content only 13 person peers we could do a much 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 higher with a lot more peers obviously so uh, we're going to take a look at the skills guys for the skills rotation the skills rotation is actually going to be pretty simple guys you're going to open with the third skill you're going to cancel that third skill right into the first fifth skills and get the proc on the fifth skills over you're going to jump with the second skills you're going to wait for the animation, the jumping animation to be over. And you're going to follow with the first skill. So that's the basic rotation when the awakening skills is not ready. Now, when the awakening skills is ready, the rotation will be still five, can, uh, three, cancel five. Then when there's between two and three seconds left on the proc, you're going to cancel that with the ultimate skill. And then as soon as the third skill and the fifth skill is ready, you're going to do three, cancel five. And then you're going to go back to the other rotation I named three, cancel five, proc, two, wait for landing first, and then repeat the rotation. And then when the awakening, when the awakening skill is ready, guys, well, when there's three 
between two and three seconds left in the cooldown. You don't do the second skills, don't do the first skill. Instead, you do the six skills and you repeat the rotation once again. It's very easy rotation. You're going to see it in action, guys, in the gameplay section. It's really easy, really simple, and gives you a great score, guys. So... Next guy is going to be jumping in the comments section, uh, not in the comment section, but in the gameplay section. If you have any question, comment, feedback, guys, let me know in the comment section. I always appreciate uh, you guys' insight. Again, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on this video. Make me feel love. And guys, you all enjoy the gameplay section. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.